Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for another Movie Monday. Today, we are capping off the Die Hard franchise with A Good Day to Die Hard. The one I know a lot of people were like, hey man, totally be cool if you skip this. <laughs> Saw a lot of people passing around that sentiment, but I, I gotta see it through for better or for worse, and I'll give you guys my honest opinion. I'm really hoping that word of mouth is just, I don't know, you know, revisiting a franchise years later sometimes always doesn't pan out. God, I know, <laughs> I definitely know. <laughs> but honestly, surprisingly, when I went to rent this on Amazon Prime, uh, the rating was a lot higher than I expected based on the comments, so who knows? I did notice that it is significantly shorter than most of the films in the franchise, so I don't know how that bodes, but we will we will check it out. I'm not sure what we'll dive into next. I still have a couple of loose films to kind of clean up as well. I don't know if I'll dive right into those, start another franchise. Not exactly sure just yet. I know Rambo is definitely one I really want to dive into as well eventually, but I don't know if that's going to be the next one we do. I don't know. Throw some suggestions down there and we'll see what happens next. But guys... That all said, let's go ahead and hop into this. If you want to see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you've got a memorable channel, get you access as well. It will be in watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for reaction the entire film. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-scenes footage, and try to make it worth your while. So you're going to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps these videos out. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said now, way, let's Let's go ahead and hop into A Good Day to Die Hard. Here we go. What's going on? Fireworks or shootout? Well, there's a helicopter now. The authorities in Russia are bracing themselves today. Ah. Uh. Some of whom view his incarceration as a political maneuver orchestrated by this man, Defense Minister candidate Viktor Chagorin. Good to be on the now, Viktor. Gotta love when you enter and you see like a, a character just in an isolated room, big open, open room with a cage just at its very core, and they're just playing a game, reading a paper or something like that. Always fun. Hmm. Okay. Trying to give him one last chance to comply before going public. What in the world? <laughs> Jai Courtney, okay. That was my gun. Yuri Kamarov, Billy Deval from Piget. Yuri Kamarov. Oh, well, hot damn. Is that it? Yep, we found him. Not good, John. Hospital or morgue? Worse. What was the last time you spoke to this kid? What? Wait, what was worse? Last time I saw him, pretty ugly. A few different verses in there, but um, my people are pretty sure he's been held at a Moscow prison. Oh, I thought that was him. What's he charged with? It's a nasty scene. He could be lucky to get life. He can never get out of his own way. Had a lot of problems. This is his son. I knew one of them had his son in it. He's still my kid. There it is. Just had to give it a second. What is Russia? Did how did that happen? I mean, I'm sure we'll find out, but how do we A, B to C to him being in Russia and acting as like a hitman in like all this shit? I mean, that was Jai Courtney, right? I thought it was. I mean, it's been some time. I mean, the, the first thing I saw him in was Suicide Squad. Just try, try not to make an even bigger mess of things. Mm, no promises. It is, it is John McClane. Hey, chances are he didn't call him for, for another year if his track record with his wife uh, carries over to the kids. As a father, he probably gave the daughter much more attention, or at least protection. Mm, so that's the play. Whatever happens, they just need him to fall. Or at least have any of his words kind of put into question, I guess. 
or whatever he knows, whatever file he's holding on to, they need to discredit him in some fashion. <laughs> you ask for a large bag of hair on the way to Taganska courthouse, but I got it. Good. I got it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> he knew what he was getting at, but he got some of it out. It sucks. It's traffic. What is it, an accident? Garden ring is bad. Always traffic. You American? New York. Should be used to Big bad Apple. traffic. I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps. Yeah, that's it. Never sleeps. Sure. Frank Sinatra. Speaking of Frank Sinatra, check out my reaction to the original Ocean's Eleven with him and the Rat Pack. Look at him mean mugging everybody. Oh, whoa. Is that a normal thing? Never seen that before in a courtroom. He's noticing some details. Always a keen eye, this man. Man, this muffled sound with this ticking is mildly giving me a little case of anxiety. <laughs> it's like, what's gonna happen? From where and how? gonna be loud. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa! If they were gonna do this, what was the point of getting a guy on the inside? Unless he's working for someone else. Hey, maybe he is, I guess. Because he's, I don't know. I would assume there would be two parties trying to, you know, one, silence this guy or help get his voice heard. But, or get him out of this situation altogether. So maybe he's on the side trying to get him out. Oh God. And we saw that flash of the CIA monitoring the situation is... Is he working with the CIA? Is this like a little covert mission he's on? Yeah, kill the other one. Fuck's on this file, man. <laughs> and I'm your dad. <laughs> Dude, that's probably the last thing he'd expect in this moment. What are you doing here? Jack! Hey! What what are you what are you doing what are you doing, dude? You gonna shoot me? Shouldn't be here, John. Shouldn't be here. Another kid back on first name basis only. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that he, uh... He only knows what the what the public intel on this kid is. He probably hasn't heard from him because he's been undercover, been off on this thing. So he's here thinking he's after his delinquent son. Who's got him? Clock's yep, right. yep, 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 yep. Okay. Copy that, I'm assuming McLean doesn't know about all of this. And it's just... <laughs> Head button his way into this situation. Police will shut down the garden ring. Reaper! He's no go for extraction. It's too late. Shut it down. Pull it. Mission window is closed. Reaper is out of here. Oh, wait. Harvest is in effect. Well, keep on working. Let's finish this, Foxy. Damn you, McClay! <laughs> 
missed his window because his dad stopped him. Great. Good job, John. Hey, to be fair, he's just a cop. He's not going to know any of this shit. So he just sees his son masquerading as a criminal. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, John. Dude, these punch zooms, man. We got these fucking zoom in, zoom outs. Ah, the camera guy just is like, woo 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 <laughs> these zooms, man. RPG, no. Hey, hon, can you get the RPG out of the back for me, please? Whoa, oh, god damn. Oh, well, I was going to say smooth move, McLean, but hey, he's on the wheels. Interesting choice, man. <laughs> what? You're not in New York, man. Can't just do this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? What do you expect? What? It's a Moscow. You move stuns to you. Do you think I understand the words you're saying? He doesn't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. It's okay. I'm fine, thanks. Now McLean is wanted for theft and assault in Russia. <laughs> I guess he took that literally. Oh my. Hey, some of this, these car stunts, man, are pretty fucking cool. That poor taxi, though. This camera dude literally is having an affair with this, the zoom toggle on his, on his camera rig. Let me do a little three point turn here. Oh my god, John. You can't be the one going, Jesus, when you're the one fucking doing this. What do you expect? Oh, for the love of God. Hi, honey. Dad, can you hear me? I'm Moscow. I'm going right back. Wait, right no, now. don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? John, why? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God, all those vehicles, all those cars. <laughs> you tell him, you show him. Oh my lord. Oh man! Knock, knock. Who's there? So how's Jack? Have you seen him? <laughs> uh, yeah, yep, looking right at him. Oh, is he okay? Uh, eh, debatable. Oh man, hey! Is that it? Is that your best shot? Uh oh. Oh, whoa! I mean, nice move. Oh! <laughs> wow. Whoa. Dude, you thought traffic was bad before on a normal day? Oh, you're gonna be real bad today. Oh, wow. Get in before I change my mind, Jesus. Take your time. Listen, man, he's old. Shut up, John. I swear to God, I will put a bullet in you this time. Who do you think you're talking to? The last person I want to see. Well, maybe you missed the whole part back there where I saved you and Papa Geppetto here. For 
Papa Geppetto. I'm still your father. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. What a joke. Выборы на следующей неделе. И мы сразу начнем. Извините, пожалуйста, комаров спешал. I walk down hallways and I talk. That's my role in this movie. С каким-то американцем. С каким американцем. Oh no. The only one publicly known. This is what you've been doing, Jack? Spy shit? You're a spy. <laughs> oh my god. 007 of Plainfield, New Jersey. McLean, shut up. Take it easy, I job. <laughs> You will get me out of here? Only the three of you? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's still jet lag. I'm not involved in this. Oh, Jack. You are now. Only if I can take my daughter with me. Jagarbin's people will kill her. Fine. Make it quick. He's like, daughter? I'll help you now. The Nobolt in Pripyat. Remember the key is here in Moscow. At Hotel Ukraine. Great. We got multiple quests here. Going to the Ukrainian. Let's go. Daughter, and then the uh, file. At the papa, to be a dumb kid, my smiley pepper rust in the file. Prima si chas. Davai, davai, bistro, yasna. Okay. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Contact! What the fuck was that? That was out as focused as all hell. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely laying down some cover, dude. God damn. Uh, yo. Right, let's move, John. Fucking vacation. John, you're not on vacation. Stop, stop throwing that around. You were here for your kid. You weren't here to go catch some rays in Russia. I'm so fucking burned. I got no friends in this town anymore. What about your people at Langley? Just give him a call. Give me your phone. Great. It's a two year contract on that phone. <laughs> Why all this trouble for just one guy? Look, not that you care, John, but it's a matter of national security. Well, great, Jack. Let's drop him off at the embassy and we can go home. Definitely not how that works. I now need that file to unfuck this mission. Any more questions? Yeah, just one. How come you never called and told me where you were? What you give a shit? Mm. All right. I need you to hang here a second. Keep an eye on him, John. Hey. Hey. What is with all this John shit? What happened to Dad? Good question. Oof. I get it. I get it. Well, we don't know the story yet, or at least the extent of it, but we know he's not been very there. I believed work was all that mattered. Funny about that. Screwed my kid's life up too. Work all the time, round the clock, most of the time when you're cut. I just thought that working all the time was a, g a good thing, you know? Provide you know, them at all. It's a fine line. It's a difficult line to ride. Okay, let's go. But he's also doing a very honorable thing too considering like that like falling back on the whole conversation with him and justin long in the last one about why he's that guy because people are out there need him blah 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 he's doing his stuff at the end of the day he's trying to his best to to keep up keep the as many people as possible safe and then on top of that he gets himself into these insane situations and goes above and beyond but it just comes at the cost of his his relationships when you're a wife, you're a son, you're a daughter, you want your father around, but at the same time, they got to do what they got to do to make ends meet. If what they do is important, you know, they got to keep on pushing through. Sometimes some people can never strike that balance, and this is just kind of one of those situations. The thing is, it's we have to, we just, we're playing off a of conjecture between each one of these movies. Outside of the time where he just decided not to call his wife after a fight for an entire year, that's all on him. Everything after that, we have to infer, guess. We don't really know any of the details in these long swaths of uh, time that pass. Irina. Oh, no. Papa. Wait, that was the girl from earlier, right? Irina. Papa. Yeah, it's tender. 
Really, I wouldn't know. Need a hug? <laughs> Потом мы уедем из Москвы навсегда. Хорошо? Хорошо. Is she not? She looks so similar. I mean, maybe I need to see them side by side. Something no good about this. Yeah, Shut see? Up, She's trying to sell out her fucking father. This might seem like a totally foreign concept. You know, well, you love to just run in making shit up, but like any professional, I have a plan, so let's just stick to it, okay? <laughs> All right, Yuri, come on, let's grab the key, get out of here. Yes. Just take a moment. Hey, this time he's right about it, though. Sometimes a little chaos, a little non plan can go a long way. How are you doing? Fine. How'd you get over here so quick? I took garden ring. Oh, the garden ring. Which is closed. And it's closed. I have it. I have it. <clears throat> Welcome, America. Or did they just... The goddamn gun's down, asshole! Shh, shh, shh. Like, I assume it's the same woman from before, but is this like an act? Or did they just kidnap her first? Yuri! Do it! Yep, there it is. It was just a fucking... Okay, there we go. Are you plan, Mr. Professional? Деньги, папа, миллионы долларов. Думаешь, мне было легко, пока ты сидел в тюрьме, изображая себя жертву? But I'm your father. And I'm your daughter. We should kill the old man now. Okay. We still need him. But them you can kill. Thank you. Thank you. I will proceed. Hi. Do you know what I hate about the American? Everything, especially cowboys. <laughs> this guy's a character, man. I mean, he's good. Make Jessica I've run for his dancer. money. Give a run but for his money. Me. You two have been such a. If only I had a father that would have supported my dreams, I would be a dancer. Killing is much, much better than working in a grocery I wouldn't know, but okay. You guys, so arrogant. It's not 1986, you know? Reagan is dead. Oh, Reagan. I thought he said Reagan. Well, he did say Reagan, but. Let's dance. Let's dance. Oh God. Holy, sh let's go. Meat shield. What's your thing, John? What's my thing? I can kill a bad guy, that's your thing. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I know that's like movie glass, but if that was like legitimate glass, those were some chunky ass shards and thick for the, you know, it was stained. So that would have sliced up a couple of dudes real good. Still works as a pretty solid distraction though. Oh no, they're gonna open fire on them, aren't they? Hey! Oh, I thought they were gonna launch some of their missiles. I mean, none of it's good, but better chance surviving this. Then they just launched a couple of those into this building, man. I remember seeing this shot from the trailer, that little dive off the ledge there. No! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, that wouldn't... 
How are they sliding? Oh my god! How are they alive? I know there's suspension of disbelief, but they literally just free -falled. That wasn't a decline. That wasn't a slope. That was just vertical. <laughs> what the hell? But it's all right, they, they landed in a dumpster, which in movies, that'll save you from any height. It's like the straw patches in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> this guy's just here to walk and talk. <laughs> He's just got a shit ton of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're doing it in slow-mo. What the fuck? It's kind of, it's hilarious. At least to me, I find it hilarious. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that was exciting. What was that in him? Looked like a piece of rebar. Wanna go again? <sighs> hey, yup. Does indeed look like one. You don't know? I don't know, right? I I mean, I'm out of moves. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's time to free ball it. I blew the mission. We should just mm -hmm. go home. Stop by a little pharmacy on the way out of Moscow and get you some, you know, methylated mercury and <laughs> fix up your little scratches here. Get you home. A little toy set. Get yourself a nice warm glass of milk with a little Bosco in it. <laughs> what are CIA you doing? You... All right. What? I get it. It's calling a little baby. What the hell are we going to do? What's in the file? Evidence on Shigarin. Evidence about what? Chernobyl. Well, what about it? Komarov and Shigarin used to have this side racket going on back in the day. They siphoned weapons grade uranium, got greedy, caused a meltdown. Oh, oh. Shigarin had Komarov thrown in jail, you know, put him in a hole, forget about him. Doesn't have to worry. Oh, they're putting anymore. the Chernobyl meltdown on these guys. We see this guy in control, we're gonna see the whole thing fall apart. I'm talking terrorism, WMDs. Someone's gotta stop him. We gotta be those guys. That's what we do. We go out to cheap pep and do our thing. Our thing? Yeah. You following in his footsteps whether you know it or not. You got something better to do? All right, pull it. You're not gonna cry, are you? Just pull it. <laughs> Everybody needs a good cry once in a while. Oh my God. <laughs> You and Ralphie Mauser were gonna have that house painting. He's John. distracted him before he rips it out, isn't he? John, just pull it. All right. Okay, maybe not. Do. What's interesting is he very much so followed in his footsteps whether or not he wasn't reaching out to his family, wasn't reaching out to his sister. He he's keeping him at a distance. That that right? that behavior yeah. is being echoed in him because of his own resentment. He's creating the same situations just through a different means, which also happens in these father son daughter relationships. Whatever you know, sometimes that can be replicated, and you don't even realize you're doing it. Like, you know, he went to the CIA. I mean, John just thought he was a train wreck, apparently. You know, he was a juvenile growing up, probably acted out, his father's a cop. You see that all the time, too. <laughs> you see it all the time, though. Like, you know, when you grow up under a, in a certain household, you want to act out in your own way. Wow, holy shit. They lucked out. The, uh, and hangout. Oh. Doesn't like guns in the clubs that so he's leaving in their cars. Oh, uh, was one dude just walking around with all that? God damn. Anyway, so like, I don't know, it's really interesting. Like, well, I mean, it's like very grounded, actually. And then that all lured him, not lured him, but kind of set him on a path to kind of doing what John does, following in his footsteps, maybe unknowingly, or maybe even knowingly thinking, it was like, I will, I'll one-up him, I'm gonna be a cop, I'll be CIA, I'll be undercover, I'll do all this shit. Or maybe he got scooped up, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how he fell into it, but whether he knows it or not, he just ended up doing a lot of the same things that he, he resents his father for. I mean, shit, I catch myself doing stuff like that all the time too, based on my shitty relationship with my dad. <laughs> you gotta go to Chernobyl. He's barely I'm around, sad, barely man. makes contact with anybody else, and, really and I, I have to really try not to do that myself. 
Very touching. Let's move. Which one is it? Ну давай, шевелись, старый козел. I I'll tell you this. I did not expect us to be linking to Chernobyl. Let alone seemingly going there. A couple of fresh coats of paint and weed whacker and it's good to go. You got a plan? Not really. I saw some people saying, and we still have 20, 30 minutes of the movie left, that this was like character assassination of McLean, and I'm not I'm not picking that up. What is this? A pirate gun? Gold school, man. Like you, right? Yeah, like me. I don't think he's that old school. Sorry, I fucked up your day. It wasn't my plan, and I caused you problems. I came here for something else. And all that bullshit. I mean, I had a pretty good day. Hmm. It's fun running around with you. <laughs> Got to go on your own little John McClane adventure. Father and son masquerade and massacre through Moscow. I love you, boy. No. You too. I want you to know I got your back. I got yours too. No. All right. Let's go kill some motherfuckers. <laughs> I was about to say, that got me a little misty right there, man. <laughs> he had to drop that one. Good. I don't know, I relate to this situation a lot. Well, not the situation, but the, sh the, the familial shit. Do we really need the ghostly breathing in the score here? <laughs> okay, what the fuck is this? I'm losing my patience. <laughs> You've underestimated us, daddy dearest. Zanasiti! Oh, oh no. Are they just gonna, well, we can't find it. Let's just blow it up. What's this remind you of? Look. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought that was that funny, dude. No one here is speaking about uranium. Where's the file? No more games. Where's the file? Oh, whoa! That's no longer your concern. Whoa, ho, whoa, 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 what? Well, they, so they had a con going on this entire time. What's their goal then? Right. <laughs> they just here for all this. You Or was this file business just all a hoax, all a lie to get them to bring them here so that they could get what's all in this vault for themselves? Like there was never a file. They're loading up all this uranium. Here's this dude again. Hey, not in a hallway this time. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Dude, I think you got a little chub there. Actually, he may have came, I don't know. 
So this was just a long-winded revenge scheme. And then to get back what was uh, his. What is he dancer? You okay? You hurt? Oh, I'm good. Oh, he ha see, he's a he's putting on an act. You see how he completely he was confused, but then completely shifted his demeanor back to the meek hostage. I have to leave. They're coming back any minute. Just let me get the fire. What's in the box? What's in the boxes? U-235. Weapons grade uranium. Armored cases. Bomb kind? Yep. Yeah, the bomb kind. He's walking right back towards that gun he just dropped down. It's your vault, isn't it, Yuri? No. No, I... You put this shit in here, right? Mmm, yep. I didn't know, Chuck. Is that the dancer down there? <laughs> When's it not about, buddy? Don't arrest me. You're out of your jurisdiction, Detective McLean. Aren't you? I wouldn't worry too much about being arrested. <laughs> the CIA. No phone call. Spy shit. <laughs> you think you're so smart? Disappear your ass. I'm just on vacation. My boy here. I'm gonna put a whooping on you. I'm on vacation. He's on the clock. Oh, fuck. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. God damn. Yeah, the fuck? Was that the grenade or what was in the cases that caused that? Oh, nice. Thank God for that vest. And his bad aim. Hell yeah, dude. Bye bye, Rotor. Nice, let's go. Oh God. What a shame your father won't be alive to see you promoted. <laughs> Neither will you. There goes your payload. Oh. Wasn't that carrying a shit ton of uranium? I'm not sure how you implement it, but I expected a little bit more out of that. But maybe that maybe that was just something else. I don't know. on McLean. Ah, and then flipping her off. Oh, I remember this as well from the trailer. Oh, 
Punch Zoom's back. Be funny if he just wasn't going to answer until he yelled dad he was just waiting off on the corner <laughs> so we're not gonna grow any third arms or anything are we nah. you might lose your hair <laughs> this is you five years from now john mcclain john mcclain jr well that makes you a senior <laughs> try not to forget it I'm also a junior. <laughs> Have some respect for your father. Uh, I understand. Not the same as respect. Talking about my case, not theirs. You're looking for trouble, or does it always just seem to find you? After all these years, I still ask myself the same question. You just got some dog shit ass luck, man. It's really all it boils down to. Yeah. Okay, we had to end on a freeze frame. Come on, movie. All right, man. I'm waiting for that first credit to pop up. There we go. All right. Uh, nothing. I would imagine not. All right, man. I'll I'll be. Completely honest with you guys. I liked this movie. I'd like to hear from you guys though. Like I'm very curious because I did see multiple people say they committed character assassination on McLean. And I didn't get that vibe at all. Unless there's something I missed, which is always possible. For me, it felt very in line with you know, the McLean we've been following, man. I mean, I know he he doesn't he's he's still doing what he's always been doing. He's got an estrangement with his family that has been extremely consistent. He's only in the last movie finally made up and made a connection with his daughter. Reestablished that. If anything, that movie started that whole bit, him being fragmented off from, from his kids. You know, the first three films, it was really much just struggling for him to work through his relationship with his wife while also continuing his job in New York. That obviously ran its course, rightfully so. He didn't call her for over a year. And God knows what happened with these kids. We didn't really get a lot of the meat as far as what drove them away. But understandably, much like with this conversations with Justin last movie, he couldn't be there. He had an obligation to his job, to the world, to the people, to protect them and go above and beyond when no one else really can. It was mostly a sacrifice, or at least that's Maybe an excuse, I don't know, but that's the way it played. Honestly, and this feels like a natural extension of that. If that continued, if that trend kept up, you know, he made amends with the daughter. You know, he made amends with Lucy and their relationship, at least up until this point, seems to be fine. He's six years later, you know, they're talking, but Jack, it's not, has not been smoothed over. And I will admit, at least from my stance, my viewpoint, because I kind of have been in a similar situation growing up, but men can also be very stubborn, especially with a father figure, especially when you've got a father like McLean or anything like that. Talking isn't going to be a very easy thing to do. And a lot of that resentment, a lot of that is going to get projected. You know, he might want to push away. He might want to whatever. We don't know all the details. All we could do is assume and, you know, theorize about what all took place. But I will say, just from the little taste that we got, I related to this, honestly. I, I The way that they kind of pulled away from each other, but no matter what, he still also kind of just perpetuated that broken relationship by latching on to it. While his father was legitimately trying to reach out and trying to do these things, he's kind of holding on to what was and has really kind of formed his identity around it, consciously or unconsciously, following in his footsteps, not even keeping Lucy in the loop, not keeping his father in the loop. No, they all just thought he just fell off the grid, disappeared. They thought he was on drugs, selling drugs, whatever. They didn't know what he was up to. And the next thing he popped up on the radar was in Russia, just doing some crazy ass shit. And John's just like, what the fuck? I gotta go get this kid. That's all they knew because he was doing what John was doing, focusing on the work, focusing on the mission, and you know, not making time to keep up these connections. He was becoming his dad. He just maybe didn't know it. I don't know. I thought all that was really interesting. I thought this was a lot smoother of a movie. It was tight, you know, being a, an hour and 30 minutes, it just flowed real nice. I think the only complaint I really have about 
the the way the movie is held together is just goddamn that punch zoom. The camera guy in that zoom, man. We would zoom out to zoom in to zoom out to zoom in all in the same shot before we even had a cut. And I was like, dude, ch fucking chill. Outside of that, obviously, this being a diehard movie, it did feel like once McLean got to Moscow, he was just like, I could still do this crazy dumb shit. And he sees what's going on with his son. He's just going after him. And him just stealing all these vehicles and just careening through all of these other you know, bridges, buildings, other vehicles, him just <laughs> causing just as much, if not more devastation just to chase his kid. I, I could excuse that a little bit more. You know, if he was in the States, you know, cause he at least has the badge to lean back on. He's got Jack fucking shit here. So like, it was a little, it is his kid. I get it. And all this crazy stuff is going on. You know, there was that explosion at the courtroom. There was bombs going off left and right, bullets flying left and right. At the end of the day, sure, he probably was like, I could get a pass right now. But in my head, I was like, oh my God, John, this is escalating a little bit beyond. I mean, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is his kid and his kid is involved in all of this. So maybe there is a buy in that. And I'm just kind of like latching onto it. All that aside, I really enjoyed it. The action, the uh, dynamics between him and his son the story that was going on, the banter and all this kind of stuff. You know, the whole repetition of the vacation thing while he wasn't really here on a vacation. So like that whole gag didn't really work for me, but the vast majority of this movie, I thought really, really worked. I actually, I have to say, I think I enjoy this more than the last film. I thought it was more streamlined. It was more grounded. It was more about this relationship between him and his son. And I liked what they did with this by centering this dynamic right front and center through the entire run of the movie, as well as paralleling it with a whole other parent and child relationship as the villains. And it was fun. I thought the set pieces were great. The practical effects are great. Uh, much less jump the sharky than the last film, barring that one thing where they literally just fall vertically. I know when they show them in the tube, they are like sloped slightly, but when they would punch out and we would get like that wide, of that whole side of the building, that is just straight 90 degree drop. There is no sliding, there's no breaking your fall, though they did go through a couple of boards and planks. I don't know if that would be enough to, <laughs> to, to mitigate the damage, but whatever, it is what it is. It's Hollywood, it's a movie, it's an action movie at that. So a lot of those laws kind of get thrown out the window for the fun of it all. I get it, but it was just kind of funny. Overall, I really enjoyed this. Do I like it more than one? No. Do I like it more than three? No. Do I like it more than two? I definitely don't. Maybe, maybe it was the lowered expectations from the, the comments. Maybe that helped. I don't know. But I, I just thought this was a much better put together movie than the last one. And I just, I'm curious, like what, what about this? Uh, didn't work for everybody. I'm just, I'm just, I'm honestly, genuinely curious. Is it the relationship with the kids? Is it how he was d estranged from his son? You know, he fixed the relationship with his daughter, but wasn't able to do so with Jack. I'm not exact. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm just assuming and making assumptions about that right now. Cause again, thankfully none of you guys were like throwing out spoilers or anything like that. Nobody said one thing or the other. So I really don't know where those opinions are rooted. So I'm, I'm just really, really curious. So obviously based on what I just said, you can assume my rankings. It's still three, one, two, I would say five and then four for me. I think that's where I'm at. I think this is a uh, fourth on my list. And again, I really enjoyed all of these movies. I just, for me personally, I thought this one hit a lot of the spots that I like a little bit more than the last one. And I still dug that. I think the last one was way cheesier though. Maybe that's because I work in IT, I work in tech and stuff like that. So like a lot of the the kind of hype of the that era, the, that like mid to late 2000s coming off the heels of the matrix and the hacker scene and all that. And you know, the fear of machines taking over everything. Like some of it, I do have to like scoff at a little bit. I always find it so goofy the way Hollywood likes to depict some types of technology and stuff like that. And maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Uh, but I still liked all these films. I don't think any of them honestly are bad. I thought they were all really enjoyable. I thought Bruce Willis was great all the way through all of them. Obviously he's older here, so he's not, 
he's not punching and swinging and doing all the crazy things as much as normal. I like that they did kind of impart a lot of that with his son, who again, for better, for worse, and consciously or not, followed in his footsteps, though not as a cop, but as a CIA agent, but in, in a way that it also helps exacerbate the problems that already existed. As a CIA agent operative, he can't talk about the things that he does, and that just exacerbates the already existing communication issue that exists in this family. But he, like his father, is working within the system in some way, shape, or form to protect the country in what shape or form, and, you know, and he just, he's just his dad, but just as the spy version. So I don't know. I thought all that was fun. I thought that was interesting. And I thought they did a really good job with all that personally. Sound off the comments. I want to hear from you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Dumb channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share Ryan, Karen, your course gone, Melita, Robert Angliano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justin Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.